the transfer window was frustrating. There's no other way to put it. It was just frustrating. The Nwusu thing finally came to a head when he left to Man United on a $2.1 million fee. They turned around and gave us a loan back option, which we took because we're very thin. The, the kicker is now that he's there, he's valued at 28 to 33 million. And try as I could, I could not get more than the 2.1 for him. Every time I tried going up, they walked away. Or, I don't think it's a bug per se. I just think it's an error in how the logic works. And it's not game-breaking in any sort of way. I mean, we didn't have a release clause on him. When I tried getting a getting, and I couldn't get a release clause on him unless he signed a new contract. He didn't want to sign a new contract. He was upset because he didn't bring a friend in for him. But, you know, it doesn't matter that all three of the friends he tried to suggest that I bring in, he was like, uh, no. Or they were like, uh, no, we don't want to. So, you know, the, the other outs were Valentin, Santa Tiempo. He went to beer shot. He was a youth player, wasn't going to see any time here. Alex Tadibi, Alex Tabidi rather, went to Shukrat on loan. Nagolo went to Norgeland on go on loan rather, and then right before the transfer window closed, Arsenal came and made an offer for Antonio Blanco, and he left for twenty one and a half million. Normally, I would have been kind of upset by that. Blanco has been an interesting character for me. He's a very good midfielder. He really is. It's just for whatever reason, he just did a lot of really stupid stuff. You know, maybe it was the fact that he doesn't like important matches, sort of thing. And to be honest with you, I don't remember him. Uh, performing any better or worse in big games than he did in regular games. Uh, Nagolo went up back on loan to Neuschelink because we bought him for $6 million and they requested a loan back, and we said, sure, no problem. Uh, he is a very good center back and defensive mid who can also play on the right, but I brought him in to be a defensive center back. Uh, Luka Vesner Tishik, probably mangling that. He is on loan. He is a midfielder and defensive midfielder. I believe we have an option on him that... Yeah, it's a 1.3 million future fee, which we will probably take because he is quite a solid player. At this point, I am not looking for anything spectacular. I'm looking for solid, and he is pretty darn solid. Uh, Alex Tadibi, he also went back on loan to Stuttgart. We brought him in for 1.7, and then Nuwusu left. Chalufia left to Michelin for 4.3. He was just kind of lost in the shuffle up top. A slightly older player who wasn't getting playing time, and I didn't see him getting playing time. And he wanted to move for the good of his career. And I said, sure. And I got a decent amount of money for him. So he came in from Michelin before. Chilofia comes to us from Michelin, 4.3 million, 25 years old. A very solid player. Solid but unspectacular. I tend to say that a lot in a lot of my saves, but it's very, very true. He's up here at striker depth and midfield depth. He's got good acceleration and pace. He's okay on the endurance front. He's got good agility and balance. His ball control skills are nice. He could be a better crosser, but his technique is good. His off the ball isn't too bad. Uh, his composure is okay. His shooting is okay. His bravery is okay. I mean, the, the lowest thing he has is a four at tackling. And please, he's a striker for crying out loud. So why are we worried about that? December went really, really good for us. Uh, we beat... Uh, Lapoy Foot, that was the last of the that was the last live comedy deal. We beat them 1 0. Then we played Sarguemines and we absolutely throttled them 7 0. We drew with Reims 1 0. And then when we beat Auxerre 3 0. And then Rennes beat us 2 0. They just absolutely thumped us. It was one of those games where we just could not put a lot together. We had nine shots, three on target. They had 11 and six. They were just that much better than we were. So we're playing Bordeaux today in the French Cup 11th round. And then we're going to play Nice. So the interesting thing is that now Nwusu's here on loan, they don't want to start him anymore. They keep putting Breadlaw in. And Breadlaw's not bad, but Nwusu's better, even at a younger age. Mokhtar Gwei is back from injury, but he's not essentially, he's not fit, per se. But we're going to keep him up there. We're going to have Chalufia on the bench. Amadori's going to be on the bench. Amadori's wanted now by a couple of squads, mostly loans. But he did really good for us. I suspect that if Mokhtar falls off a little bit, we'll keep... Uh, I'm a Dory up the top to the point where push comes to shove. I may just break out a 4 2 4 to get them both on the field. Double check this real quick. So we're going to have Nuusu goal, Haskadunic, and Lawrence as the defensive center backs, Wiegand and Sanchez as the wing backs, Memesevich as defensive mid behind Herrera and Bezic, Amuzu and Beza as the attacking mids with Gwe up top as the striker. Um, do I want Memesevich there or do I want Dewey there? And we're playing at home. Already off to a fast start. Three shots, two on target in the first ten minutes. Why at first half, though? Half hour in, no highlights. There we go. The Simba on the throw-in. 
Ellis heads it, Memosevich chests it down, kicks it up. Gray's got it, but he bounces it off and the shin, but goes right to Bargo. Dijolo to Paulino. And Nwusu, a very nice save, but I thought he was offsides, but I guess not. James with a corner kick for Bordeaux. Knocked away. Paulino runs it down for Bordeaux. Gets it to James on the left. Back to Gregerson. Loses it. Gregerson to Jalo. And that's the highlight. So an interesting way to end the highlight. Coming up on half. We have a slight advantage over Bordeaux, but it's not a lot. We go into the we go into half nil-nil. If we can't turn it up. The guys are motivated. I think we'll switch the positivity to attacking here. Sanchez on the throw in. Basic. Askanunich. All the way back to Nawusu. Nemesevich. Up into space. Basic heads it forward. Loses it. Klitsch. Santa to Gregerson. Up to James. Back to Pusin. Gregerson. The looping ball. Polino got by the defender. And he hits it wide left. About 60 minutes in, let's see what we can do in terms of changes here. Okay, we're going to get Guay off and bring on Amadori. We're going to get Beza off and bring on Badui. We're going to save our last sub here. Ten minutes left. I don't remember if we go to extra time or it goes right to a shootout. It goes right to a shootout. Okay. Time for Nwusu to earn his money. And he doesn't. Clutch scores. Herrera. Ellis walks up for Bordeaux. Nwusu dives late. Weigand. And he scores. Uden steps up for Bordeaux. Nwusu again dives late. Sanchez. Puts it away, lower left corner, very nicely. Polino steps up for Bordeaux. We need a stop. Nwusu dives the wrong way. Well, Basic has to make this or we lose. And he does. Nwusu has to stop this or we lose. Bill Sigur. No, Nwusu was late. Came close a couple of times, but he was late. But we didn't do anything on the field either. Can't remember where the board wanted us to finish. Be competitive. Knocked out in the 11th round. I think they're okay with that. What is this? Cup of Nations 2025. Gato Fofana. Inverted winger. That is not bad, all things considered. Teamwork could be a little bit higher. 16 fitness, 16 agility, acceleration pace. You know what? We're going to put him on the transfer list. Anyone else on the Ivory Coast squad we might take a look at? Lisa Fofana. We'll scout him. Reem Konate. We'll scout him. Ivory Coast is one of those African countries you want to you wanna take a look at. They, they produce some very good players. 22-year-old is the youngest on Tunisia squad. 23-year-old on Egypt squad. So, Lebo Motiva has the most goals, but he's also 29 years old. Okay. 
Well, we're going to save the game here, and then we've got Nice coming up, so we will come back with that match in just a bit. Well, we had a good week of training, no injuries, and we are going to go with the following for today's lineup. It's going to be Nwusun Gol, Tuan Zebe, and Haskadunic as the defensive backs, Wigant and uh, Sanchez as the wing backs, Memesevic as the defensive mid behind Herrera and Basic, no, uh, Nas, 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 and Beza as the attacking mids with Gwe up top as the striker. Moved around the substitutes a bit. One of the things I want to start doing is getting some of these youngsters some playing time. The 18 and 19 year olds who I tried loaning out, but no one picked them up. Uh, and of course, after the window closed, now all of a sudden, like Pedro's wanted by a bunch of squads, but we'll see. So we need to start getting them into the rotation so they can potentially step up to a full time starting position around the time they're 22 23. And if not, move them on for money. Ranchuk sends it into the crowd, and it is off. Corner of the net. Ranchuk again knocked away. Solomon runs it down. Crosses it in. The board is there and he hits the back of the net. Or the top of the net. It looks like it's hitting the top or the side of the net. Basic sends it in into the crowd. Knocked away. The board's going to pick it up. Solomon. This is from Ranchuk. He chests it down. Goes wide. Gets it back to Lewis. Greedies. The board beats Dalvin and he hits the crossbar and it goes in. Not really a fan of that. Ranchuk. Lewisu knocks it away. Solomon runs it down. Still going, still going. And he hits the outside of the net. Call to Thauvin. Solomon is there and he slots it. Son of a gun, guys. Come on. We'll be yelling at halftime. Basic sends it in. Knocked away by the board and Ranchuk. Still running with it. Gets it back to Lewis. Lewis to Creedies. Back to Lewis. Rancho. Creedies. Off Marusu in for the goal. George here all over my hat. What you get for having a white dog and you prefer dark hats? Nas. Haskadunic. Up to Basic. Nemesevic. Way. Out to Wiegand, to all alone. Crosses it in. Nas is there, and he hits it right back. Come on. Pedro on for Twan Zebe. And bring Amugu on for... Memesevic, but we're going to swap him and Herrera. We're going to bring on a Muzu for Sanchez. Come on, guys. Can we get a goal back? Does not appear likely. Tell us. Maranchuk. Victor Pavlovich to Sanchez. Soriano. Sanchez. Soriano. Back and forth. Despot off. Winger. Mariano takes the shot and he hits it. Right. Seventeen shots, five on target with them. Seven and two for us. They shut us out. Three nil. We were not good enough. You cannot believe how angry that makes me. Nice, through a variety of saves that I've played in France, has always been a bogey team for me. Arteta's the head coach there now. Save the game here real quick and take a look at what's going to be coming up in the future here. Bordeaux's in last place, too. Isn't that a... But I think that's who we're going to come back for. We're going to come back for Marseille and Bordeaux. Because Marseille is currently in second. Bordeaux is currently in last. And we've got them coming up in... 
you know what? No, we're gonna do this. We're gonna go. We're gonna go Leon and Toulouse. Then the youth intake should be happening somewhere around there. And then after the Toulouse match, after the Leon match, we'll come back and do. Well, nuts. How many games do we have left? Two, six, ten, fourteen. Yeah, Toulouse and Leon. The youth intake will be somewhere around in there. So we can do the youth intake, look at those two club look at play those two games, and then come back, play Dijon at the end of the year at, for the last game of the season, and then do our end of year recap. So that is what we are gonna do. So while I save this, we will talk about our horrible performance against Nice. And our horrible performance against Bordeaux. Now, granted, we didn't play the strongest squad against Bordeaux, but still, the fact that it went to penalty kicks and we lost on penalty kicks is frustrating, especially when it was our best penalty kick taker who managed to kick the ball straight where the keeper was going. So, Nice, on the other hand, it's just... They're a very good squad, and it shows. We should have done better against them, though. For the moment, though, we are solidly mid-table. We're even on goal differential, 24 points. I don't believe we're in danger of being relegated. I mean, it's mathematically possible, but I think it's mathematically improbable at this point. But then again, it's FM, the ball is round. Who the heck knows? And Bappe has 16 goals already this season. Holy frick. Best team money can buy. It's a good thing you got that printing press down in their basement. So, with that said, if you did like what you've seen and heard, please leave a like. Subscribe to the channel for more content, questions, criticisms, comments. Leave those down below. I will answer those as fast as I can. My name is FM Jellico. I thank you very much for watching.